Hi, I'm Michelle Papadopoulos and I'll be doing a framing tutorial today. I've been framing a few of my paintings for an upcoming art show here, so I thought I'd record it just in case you want to frame your own instead of getting the framing place to do it for you, which costs a bit of money. So, what you'll need is a um, frame and a mat to go with it. And this is the painting that I'm framing today. It's watercolor, ink, and graphite. And when you get a frame, sometimes it comes with a piece of glass and a backing, which is handy, and um, then there's a the framing hardware and the little tabs that you have to nail into the back to hold everything together. Whoa! Screwdriver, uh, a little drill to do the pilot holes, um, uh, wire cutters, <laughs> and oh, there's this acid-free paper that you can put behind the painting in between the painting and the backing cardboard and to stop it from yellowing. Um, what else? Hammer. And this is tape that you'll use at the very end to cover up everything on the back to make it nice and smooth for the wall. So I think that, oh, and glass cleaner of course. I um, guess that's it. Let's get started. So I've put my painting in the mat and I've lined it up how I want it and at the back I've added linen tape at the top. It's acid free so it won't yellow the painting and then and it holds it in place so you don't have to worry about it um, moving around in the frame. I'll just put that aside. And next, next you want to clean your glass. You don't want any dust. Especially between the painting. So that in there. And the other side. Okay, make sure there's no Plop your let's just see, plop your painting in there. Okay, once your painting and mat are in there, um, you should put a backing of acid-free paper before you put in your um, the cardboard backing just to protect the painting. So since mine's too big, I could just fold it over. Fits. It's going to be covered by the cardboard, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't look pretty. Double check that it's looking good. No dust particles or looks good to me. Okay, so this part is can be a little tricky. There are guns that you can buy to shoot these little tabs into the side, which would probably be a lot easier, but I'm doing it the hard way. So let's see. So with these little tabs, you just put them at the back and it's to keep everything in. And I'm going to be doing three on the long side and two on the short side. So just have to line them up there. Make sure you get them. It's a little tricky sometimes when the frame is a bit sturdy little when the frame is quite thin. So I might angle them down a bit. There we go. Nice. Flip it around, do this other 
aside. Okay, so all those tabs are in now. So now that those are all in, I'm going to tape the back so that it's all smooth and these little things can't cut the wall behind. So I'm just going to measure out this. This is just the same kind of tape I use to uh, stretch watercolor paper. You just add water to it and then it becomes sticky. probably use different kinds of tapes, but this is what I had handy, so I'm going to go with it. This just makes it look better on the back too. Just let that dry for a sec. Okay, so finally it's time for the hardware. So I just want to see what orientation it is. And I'm going to put these little um, wall protector felt things on the bottom of the painting. Just so when I'm putting in the hardware I won't mess up and put it on the wrong side. So there, it's just on the bottom. Okay, and I'm going to need these four little screws. So you want to put these with the flat side down, and you want to put it about a third from the top of the frame. So about here, I'm just going to measure. So I'm just going to measure. Let's just say five inches from the top. Just gonna put a little dot where the holes are. Drilling, I'm just going to use this. So I'm drilling in pilot holes just to get it started.
this screwdriver thing in. for the wire. So for this there's a certain way that you should do it. So you want to leave a little bit of extra because you'll be wrapping that around. So you want to loop it through and then like wrap it behind itself so that it's now facing this way and then loop it through again. So you've got this kind of loop situation going on here. And then you do more looping around itself. So you just do this like five or six or seven times. the excess off. It's nice. And then bring it through the other side. And for this, you just want it to come up a little bit. So you can pull it pretty tight. You don't have to don't leave too much because you don't want it coming up above. So do it quite quite taut so that it comes up just a little bit like that. So then you just again you do the same thing, you loop it around it's, and then forward and then through. And then start twisting again. and ready to be hung up. Lastly, I wanted to mention that this illustration was done for an anthology book of retold fairy tales. It's called Once Upon a Time and it's put on by Clichés for a Cause. All the proceeds of the book go to the Rain Foundation, which helps victims of sexual abuse. So if you want to check that out, it just went up for sale on Amazon on June 19th. Um, and I hope you like the video.